So, um, a way that I've uh, decided to, you know, figure out, I guess it happened kind of naturally, but we were figuring out a way to like spend a little one-on-one -on -one time with Wyatt um, before school in the mornings and with the new baby and everything. Um, and so one day we just walked to the coffee shop together and, um, and then it was so cute. He got, you know, what they call a baby Chino and it was like a little cup of steamed milk with a little cinnamon on top and he just thought that was so cool. So we all like walk to the coffee shop and have a baby Chino and we sit and we talk about the day and what we're going to do when I pick him up from school and what, what he's doing at school right now. And, um, you know, he's three, so it's preschool, but it's sort of special because I can see that it's going to be something that's going to be a part of our lives in the future is just having like that special one-on-one -on -one time with your little one. Um, for me, when I was a kid, I was just talking to Eric about this the other day, but, um, you know, I was in high school and my dad and I just had it. I don't even know where it came from. I can't remember like where it started, but we had a standing date every Wednesday. He and I would go and have Chinese food together and we would do it after school. And nothing, no matter what was going on in my life, like nothing would interfere with that Wednesday date that I had with my dad after school. So um, I remember that I would like eat less at lunch on Wednesdays and um, I just, you know, was so excited to go and do that and we would talk about our week and we would, you know, um, bond over the fact that we both were obsessed with food. So, you know, we talked about like whatever we were eating <laughs> that time, but it was always Chinese food. Um, and we would just kind of catch up or, you know, um, just sit in silence and, and eat and enjoy each other's company. And um, it's something that I'll never forget. And especially since I've um, lost my dad now and thinking back to stuff like that. And that was such a special thing that he did with me that I don't even know if he realizes the impact it had in my life. But I always have looked back and thought like, that was my time with my dad, my special time with him to connect with him, you know, away from my mom, away from my brother. And it was just, it was our thing. And he had, you know, he had stuff with my brother too. Um, lots of things, you know, they had that um, dad son relationship, but um, eating Chinese food on Wednesdays was our thing. And I think, you know, now being a parent of two kids, um, it's really important to establish that when they're really little and give them that time. So, you know, it, um, even if you have a toddler, like think about what something, I know you spend a lot of time with your kids anyway, if you say, if you're a stay at home mom or dad, um, but, you know, going and doing something, just the two of you, actually is totally different than your one-on-one -on -one time that you have at home. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we're going to go on an adventure, just the two of us, you know. And yeah. it's absolutely magical what comes of that. You know, you have this thing that you've shared together. And um, I think kids really respond to it. I did as a child and um, Wyatt and I are really enjoying our morning dates that we have where we're doing this. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share that and pass it along. So I hope it's something that if it sounds interesting to you, if you incorporate it in your life and, um, you know, try it out and then write me. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear your stories. Um, okay. So I think that's it for... Uh, weeks 11 and 12. Um, it's been such a cool journey to do this and document and, um, you know, talk about her growth and where I'm at and navigating this new world of being a parent of two children. Um, it'll only continue and yeah. it'll just be called something different, but um, I'm grateful to all of you for coming on the journey and love your feedback and um, ideas. So if there's any articles that you want to read on yours and mama, uh, please let us know and we will, um, we'll try to write about them. Okay, thank you so much. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.